Hey guys, Brando328 here, and today is Mo Monday, and this is episode 9 of Mo Monday's On the Map Mission. And I know a couple weeks ago I brought you a mob on mission, but that wasn't a real Mo Monday, so I don't count it. I still think I need to give you guys a little tutorial for mission. And for this week, we're doing the AA-12 for mission, because mission is a really good shotgun map. And of course the striker will probably be much, much easier. But I actually really like this AA-12. If you have, uh, you know, the patience to get it all the way up to damage and extended mags, it's an amazing gun. And then when you get the specialist bonus, I like it much more than the striker. So AA-12 is pretty good. Definitely recommend it. Usos actually is a beast of a shotgun. Little known fact, I don't see that gun used much. I really do like that shotgun. as well. But basically this would be a shotgun or SMG map. And for the class loadout, uh, basic, steady aim, uh, hardline, and I think I start off a hand because I use my scavenger as my first kill because the 12 does run out of ammo really quick. It's a little bit more forgiving when you have damage and extendants because you do have more ammo and it does take less bullets to kill, but you still do need scavenger pretty early on with the um, AA-12. So uh, if you're using a different shotgun that's a little bit... Um, less ammo consuming, has a little bit more uh, bullets to last you, then you probably can move scavenger around in your specialist loadout. Right there we had um, host migration and this is a theater recording which I apologize for but I didn't expect to get this mob with an AA-12 but um, I did so I had to go back and record it theater or not and there was a host migration so I did a little fade in fade out for you guys. You don't have to watch all that whatever other BS goes on in host migration but basic um, map route for this map uh, I, I watched X Jaws said to do them uh, opposite side of where I am kinda in that center um, area where you have the two hallways leading into the center path where there's the long strip down by the truck and then that little center crumbled mission area and um, I don't know about that I mean maybe Maybe it works for him and some of you guys, but I don't like going over there too much. I feel like there's too many flank routes and too many ways to watch with a shotgun. Maybe it's easier with a striker, but as far as the AA-12, I, I like to stay along the edges of the map. And right here, I'm taking my time with this because I know there's a guy in this building and he was sniping, and I really didn't want to go out and um, deal with him or possibly get quick scope by him but after I take care of him uh, you see me move away and I have the motion sensor on because the motion sensor is great for any class really you can use it on shotguns or not this is an example of me using it offensively running around throwing it in front of me checking you know, the area I'm about to run to and that's that's one of the best ways to use it I really do like the motion sensor and it can be aggressive tool as well you don't have to use it to just sit and watch one area you can pick it up keep throwing it to one go and I think it has a great use that way and I believe I use C4 I didn't call it out earlier but it was pretty sweet I threw the C4 and it blew up the telephone pole and killed someone I've died from that so many times and I finally got a kill with that myself so I feel pretty good about that and C4 is kind of personal preference I mean if you're better with Semtex or Frags go with that if you want to camp a little bit more bouncing Betty Claymore but I do like C4 for shotgun classes for some reason. When I'm running around with a shotgun, I feel like the C4 does some pretty good work. So right here is where I um, is where I was talking about earlier with the X-Jaws video. This is where he says to maintain. And uh, I do run through here a lot. Uh, a good place, depending on where the spawn is. If they're spawning on the opposite side of the map where I was in the beginning of the video, um, I do like to s sit by the truck assuming it's already blown up don't sit by it if it's not blown up you will die um, if it's already blown up sit there with that motion sensor right there and you can see how many people are coming up the hill and uh, you'll see how that turns out coming up here pretty soon but um yeah the center of the map with the shotgun I mean it's pretty good to hold and uh, assuming you're you have teammates holding it with you if you're doing it by yourself then it could become a quick and easy death because you can get flanked from so many ways if you have your teammates helping you control it 
then it's good. Or if they're trying to come in right here in this front gate, like I said earlier, you have that motion sensor right there letting you know who's coming up. You can easily just like own this spot of the map and get work done quick. And with the shotgun, it's it's monstrous. So map control is huge on uh, mission because there's a lot of flank routes, a lot of corners, and that's why shotguns are so great. But um, it's also they're also great for that right there a triple spray mob and that's why I love the AH-12 get those sprays like no other and of course you know playing with randoms they pick up the final uh, dog tag and end the game I don't get any kills with the mob but that was my first AA-12 mob and I had, to, I had to upload it and I think it was a good demonstration of how mission works and I hope it helped you guys if it did post a video response and leave a like if you liked it and uh, thanks for watching guys if you guys want to check out episode 8 of Mo Monday, click the link on the screen. And if you want to subscribe for next week's episode, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.